Welcome to the Hitomi offices. Hitomi is a manufacturer of professional broadcast equipment based here in Cookham Dean in Berkshire in the UK. We specialise in measuring lip sync and timing delays associated with television production. Our equipment is in use worldwide in the live coverage of high profile sports, news and entertainment events. In this video we're going to show you how we measure timing alignment of live broadcasts to make sure you hear what you see. Let's go and meet the team. Hitomi provides a two-part solution. At one end, the source launches a perfectly timed test pattern. The signal then goes through whatever path it is that you're trying to measure and is picked up by the matchbox analyzer at the destination. The analyzer is like electronic set of eyes and ears. The difference between what it's expecting to find and what it actually gets is the measurement. There are two ways of getting the signal into the system. It can be held in front of the camera or put straight onto the wire using the matchbox generator. Let's show the simplest example. A reporter in the field doing a piece to camera. The time test pattern in this case is coming from the iPhone. The app to produce it is free and can be downloaded from App Store. Let's do a glass test. The four rotating circles that you can see means that the analyzer has found the phone and is currently taking a measurement. As you can see here, we are early with the audio, 38 milliseconds, 39 because it's, you expect it to move about a bit in a live system. Also, we know that the latency is quite long, as you'd expect from the field, 1,328 milliseconds, so 1.3 seconds is the latency. That's the time of flight for the video signal to get from the field to the analyzer. You got my glass test okay? Oh, it's out. Well, let me know when you fixed it with the frame synchronizer. We have a frame synchronizer here, which allows us to introduce some matching delay onto the audio, so it's no longer early. So we've measured 38 milliseconds, and that's what we're going to dial in as a correction factor. Now that's done, let's test it again. Anna, would you mind saying a few more words, please? Let's do another glass test. Right, you fixed it, that's great. Um, I'll do another glass test. Zero offset proves that the lip sync is now spot on. Our lead engineer, Steve, is going to demonstrate how sensitive and accurate glass is at measuring audio. Thank you, Anna. So what I'm going to demonstrate for you here is the accuracy of the AV timing measurement. I have a microphone next to the glass device. Uh, we're currently measuring an AV timing of plus 17 milliseconds. If I move the microphone away, about three feet, the measurement will go up. So here we're measuring now plus 20 milliseconds um, and this is as you may know the speed of sound is a millisecond per foot so if I move this back we'll see the AV timing measurement go back down and there we have it plus 18 milliseconds again People know us as the lip sync specialist, but really that's a shorthand to mean synchronization between sound and picture. It's not just about people speaking. For example, in live sports, the crack of a cricket bat hitting the ball is something that you really want to see at the same time that you hear it. We don't have space in here for cricket, so instead we're going to use a Newton's cradle to represent a visual sound cue. So here we have an interesting little demonstration that we've set up to show camera to camera alignment. Here we've got two broadcast cameras. This here is camera one, the one that you can see me moving on here, comes onto this quadrant. Camera two, over here, on this quadrant. They're both looking at the same scene, but from different angles. We're gonna measure the alignment difference between them. 
Some of these things can be done by eye, but it is actually quite difficult, as you'll see when I set the Newton's cradle going, to see exactly what's going on. Visually, it is quite hard to tell, isn't it? But there is a difference. If you look at the flash on this one, compared to the flash on that one, they do happen at different times. But how much? Really hard to know. This is why you need to measure it. Here you can see four green rotating circles means that camera one has found an iPhone running Matchbox Glass. It's measuring the latency, the actual time that it takes the signal to get from that iPhone through the camera and into the Matchbox Analyzer. So here we can see camera one, 307 milliseconds. Camera two, only 78 milliseconds. So that's the difference. I'm going to get the Sinuclus Cradle running again. Can you tell by looking at it? I certainly can't, but Matchbox can. So what we're going to do now is we are going to introduce a correction factor using a frame synchronizer. At the moment it's set to zero milliseconds. You can see the difference, 307 milliseconds on camera one, 77 on camera two. Over here, we're showing the Matchbox graphical user interface, the GUI. Here we have exactly the same data, but if you want to know the difference between those two, we just have to click a button. We can see that camera two is 230 milliseconds behind camera one. So I now need to introduce a synchronizing delay into my frame synchronizer. I'm going to put in the delay of 230 milliseconds. And sure enough, if you look at the latency measurement, we're really close together there. That is by far the closest you could probably, there we go, 307 each. That's spot on. Now that we're synchronized, Let's have a look at our cradle again. You see the purple flashes that occur at exactly the same time and the balls are seem to be singing exactly right. That's not just thinking it's right, it's knowing it's right. So we put in a correction factor so that camera one and camera two are now perfectly synchronized. They look right, you can see the purple flashes occur at the same time and you look really closely you can see the balls swinging exactly synchronized. But it's not just your eyes and ears that tell you, Matchbox tells you for sure. So you know that it's right. What if you have a need for more than one camera? Any number of cameras can be in different locations around the world. To line up, different iPhones or iPads can be used in front of the camera. The measurements don't have to be done simultaneously. It is a very quick way of synchronizing cameras for editing in between cuts. Handy for both live and recorded shoots. Yes, lip sync can be fixed in post, but it saves a lot of time if you don't have to. A nice example of where cameras need to be synchronized will be in the broadcasting of a live motor race. When a car comes into the pits, for safety reasons, the camera operator has got to have a shoulder held wireless camera. You can't be having cables to trip over. So shoulder held wireless cameras tend to introduce quite a lot of delay because there's some encoding of the signal. It then has to go down to the link and be decoded at the other end. There's a longer latency associated with wireless cameras than there is to the wired ones. Trackside, they tend to have just regular wired cameras. So yeah, there you are, you're the vision mixer and you've seen the car come into the pits. You've been following it on the trackside camera. If you didn't make an allowance for the fact that there was a longer latency on the one in the pits, you'd actually see the car go past the pit entrance twice. And that's really disconverting for the viewers. So what we do is we measure the difference between those cameras and make an offset. So you've seen how we can use an iOS device in front of the camera to measure delays. But what about delays in a wired broadcast system? different points along the chain. Matchbox Generator produces a perfectly timed test pattern. The timing of the audio and video is exact and known, which makes measuring delays of individual pieces of equipment possible. 
the relative time between audio and video is lip sync, and the time of flight is the, of the signal is latency. Simply feed the generator at the start of what you're trying to measure and send the output signal to the Matchbox analyzer. Designed specifically for live production workflows, our easy to use tools save precious time as well as providing reassurance and proof of quality. Once broadcasters have lined up with Hitomi Matchbox, they never want to do it any other way again. The fact that Matchbox Generator produces a perfectly aligned audio and video signal that can be measured makes it the ideal choice as the test pattern for international broadcasts. Live feeds from global sporting events are purchased in multiple countries by television companies. Before the action starts, it's the Matchbox test signal that's used to check link timing. It's in the rights holder's interest to prove that they're giving a quality signal. That's why the Hitomi Matchbox lineup procedure is the industry standard for broadcasting most prestigious live events. This practice can be applied in many other broadcasting scenarios to ensure the timing is aligned. With individual commentary feeds, the last thing you want is for the commentator to announce a football goal before you see it, likewise with the graphic overlays. In virtual studio environments, the latencies through graphic engines can vary with each application, so they need to be measured. Surround sound is an interesting application in the audio world where it's important to get alignment right. Let's face it, most people don't actually listen in 5.1 surround, but it's important for the rights holders to record things as well as they possibly can, particularly if it's a really prestigious live concert. So things do tend to get recorded in 5.1, even if people don't listen to it in 5.1. But there's an issue here. If you've got a surround sound system, the microphones at the back have got to be in phase with the ones at the front for when you do a down mix. If they're not in phase, you can get a really awful echo and it sounds like the recording's been made in a cave. So this is where Matchbox comes in. We can measure the audio alignment of all of those 5.1 ch channels really exactly. And so there's no dispute and there's no worry if it's out of phase. So we've given you some examples of how you can use Hitomi Matchbox to measure audio and video alignment. But not just those two, you can measure audio to audio and video to video too. More recently, we've added latency, which is the actual time of flight of the signal from wherever it starts to where you're actually observing it. So how you use it for yourselves is of course down to you as the person in the broadcast environment. But hopefully these are giving you some ideas. The purpose of Hotomi is to make sure you hear what you see.